creating subfolders in Windows. Alright, remember that these videos are intended for blind or visually impaired persons who use screen readers to use their computers. We're looking at File Explorer again, where we're going to be creating subfolders. Sometimes it becomes necessary to create subfolders so that it helps, it helps us with better file management. Creating subfolders within the already default folders that come with Windows. So let's begin. All right, first, let us open File Explorer, Windows E. File Explorer window, items view list, frequent. Good. We want to create a subfolder within the documents folder. So first, we must open documents. Heading to my tree view using my shift tab. Quick access expanded one of two level zero. Then I'm going to down arrow through this list to find documents. Level one desktop. Downloads, Documents, Pin, Not Check 3 of 8 Level 1. Enter on Documents. I'd like to head over to the Items View list to be in the Contents area of the Documents folder. So I'm going to use my Tab key to go to Items View list. Items View list. Custom Office Templates Not Selected 1 of 6. Good. Now I'm there. I want to create a subfolder in here, right in here, inside Documents. Now there are two ways to do this. Firstly, let's use the method of using the menu ribbons. Of course, uh, to activate the menu ribbon, you press the Alt key. File tab drop down button grid sub menu open new windows. Change it. Now, the option to create a new folder is under the Home tab. So we will have to right arrow to Home. Ribbon tabs tab control. Home tab sub menu Alt H. Enter on Home. Documents window. Ribbon tabs tab control. Home tab selected, press sub menu. Home and we're just gonna copy. tab until we hear new folder. Copy button unavailable, copy the selected, paste button unavailable, paste the contents, cut button unavailable, move the selected items to the clip, copy path button unavailable, copy the path of the selected item, paste shortcut button unavailable, paste shortcuts to the item, organize grouping, move to drop down button unavailable, sub menu, move the selected item, copy to drop down button unavailable, sub menu, copy, delete grouping. Delete split button, delete, control plus, rename button unavailable, rename the selected item, new grouping, new folder button, create a new folder. Alt That's it. H N. It says new folder. Enter on new folder. Home tab sub menu alt H. Items view list. New folder edit selected new folder. New folder edit selected new folder. And it says new folder selected new folder. So immediately after entering on new folder, it created a new folder. And what it has placed you in now is an edit area that you can rename your folder. I'm going to name this folder Accessibility. A C C E S S I V -E I L I T Y. When I'm finished typing in the name, just press enter. Custom office templates not selected 2 of 7. Let me use my down arrow. Zoom 3 of 7. Custom office and templates arrow. 2 of 7. Accessibility 1 of 7. Yes, and now accessibility of folder appears at the top of the list within this documents folder. Very simple. I'm going to press enter on this accessibility subfolder that we just created and see what happens. I hear nothing. I'm pressing my up and down arrow. Nothing. Because of course, I press my up and down arrows because I am expecting to see another list inside here because accessibility being a subfolder is also another storage unit into which you can place files but it's it's just created so it has no files in it it is empty so pressing our up and down key does nothing right but of course you can always move files from anywhere on the computer and paste it in here if you do want files to be placed in here all right to get back out to the main screen of the documents folder you can use the keystroke alt left arrow alt left arrow which means to go back Items view list. Accessibility 1 of 7. Good. And we're back in the main documents folder where we still see accessibility listed there as a subfolder at the top. Custom office templates 2 of 7. Now, now you, you hear the other files in here as well. Okay. Okay, so that was the long way of creating a subfolder. There's a short way. We could have simply used a keystroke. So let's use that now. Let's try that. But first, we want to create a subfolder within, say, the videos folder. Remember, videos is already a folder put there by Windows. 
we want to create a subfolder in there. So of course first, we would have to go and open the videos folder. So to find the videos folder, we'd have to head to our tree view or the tree view. We're going to press shift tab to get to the tree view. Tree view. This PC collapsed three or four level one. Then I'm going to press V to find videos using first letter navigation. V. Videos eight of eight level one. Videos. Going to press enter. Good. Then we're going to tap back over now to the items view list. Items view list. Captures not selected row 1 column 1 1 of 1. And it says captures. Um, and it says row 1 column 1. Meaning that this is set up in a grid. Not just a regular list we could up and down. When things are placed inside this folder, this videos folder, they would be set out like a grid. So in columns and rows. Not just a list going down. But fine, there is only one file inside here right now or one thing inside here we want to create this subfolder right here so instead of using the menu we can use the keystroke Control shift n hold down the control and the shift press n and then release all three gonna do that and it selected new folder good and all you hear is edit selected new folder meaning the folder has been created and now you're in an edit field where you can type the name that you want. I'm going to name it, I don't know, school. I'm going to type school. S-C-H-O-O-L. And when I'm finished, press enter. School row 1, column 2, 2 of 2. Good. And now it says school row 1, column 2. So if I am to go left arrow. Captures row 1, column 1, 1 of 2. That is captures that was there before. Let me press my right arrow. School row 1, column 2, 2 of 2. And there is the subfolder that I created called school. It is there. Very quick and easy. Remember, you can go and check out our website at blindaccessibilitytips.com. And if you want to see this exact lesson, the link to this lesson is found in the description below. Just go and look. And if you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. And also ensure that you subscribe to this channel so that you will get more lessons that come out as they come, okay?